Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Jane, for the invitation, and thanks, everybody, for attending. Um, so I am delighted to bring you um, a story about our little company that we call Imaging. So um, we have this lovely snapshot summary of our company. Our market cap currently is at 637 million. We have uh, about 114 million in the bank. We have yet to have received the government refund, so we'll add 12 million to that for when it comes. So we're well cashed up. We have four unique cancer fighting platforms and four very active studies. And as Brian mentioned earlier, you need to ring fence the IP and we certainly have that. So we're addressing the scourge of this world, which is cancer, not only solid tumors, but blood cancers as well. So I um, want to tell you a little bit about, uh, about me in that uh, I hail from, judging by my accent, you could tell that I'm an American. And I hail from San Francisco and was working at a company called Genentech. Genentech offered, at that time, 40% of the world's cancer drugs. And so when I heard about this company, you know, you have to think, well, I'm not sure if I'd want to go and join and move from San Francisco to Sydney, but I was compelled because uh, as we are unfortunately, you know, family and friends that have suffered from cancer, and I'm not an exception. Uh, my father passed away from gastric cancer. My mother is a lung cancer survivor, and imaging was squarely in that space where I wanted to be. So uh, my team that I've been able to amass is a world-class leader in oncology drug development. I've worked with them at Genentech, Exolysis, GSK, so these big pharma as well as small biotech companies. We have roughly anywhere between 150 years of experience to 15 drugs that we help develop, 15 cancer drugs. So we know what we're doing and have been doing this for a while. I'm not gonna blind you with science because I think it's a lot to take in and Dr. Kelly did a great job of laying the groundwork of your immunity and we are untapping your immune system such that your immune system finally sees your type of cancer. And in this case, we have a product called Azer Cell. It goes after a target CD19, that stands for cluster differentiated 19. That may mean none, nothing to you, but if you have too much of this in your blood, you then create a situation where you have leukemia, lymphoma, these blood cancer types, which makes up roughly about 10% of cancer types. And the other 90% happens to be solid tumors. So in this case, our Azer Cell goes after a target called CD19. And there are five products already approved in the market that goes against this target. However, they are what's called an autologous CAR-T. So autologous by the name auto itself. So if you are diagnosed with a certain kind of lymphoma, leukemia, you get a pretty much a rancid package of chemo. Once you progress off that, you then come into the office and you have to look at your options, be it stem cell transplant or this product that's been somewhat of a miracle uh, in the world, and it's called autologous CAR-T, auto CAR-T. You sit in the chair for roughly about seven hours, and what they do is they transfuse you and get your T cells. Your T cells are then taken to a lab, and it takes anywhere between 19 to 42 days to develop a drug for yourself. So it has to, your T cells have to be viable and you have to be fairly fit. And so roughly about 20% actually fell off before they can even get the drug. These drugs are roughly anywhere between 350,000 to 500,000. But they're life changing because they could possibly make you live longer. What I think we need to move to is an idea of allogeneic CAR T. So these are revolutionary drugs, however, off the shelf, on demand, as you need it. So we're developing what's called an allogeneic CAR-T, whereby as soon as you are failing off that chemo, you're diagnosed with these deadly lymphoma leukemia, you can then get this product. So Azer Cell is frozen, shipped to, and batches to the sites. Then one batch gives a dose for 20 patients and we're currently in clinical trial, and I have evidence that it's working. So 
84 patients treated with azer cells thus far with lymphoma and leukemia. So in a phase one study, it's quite rare to see a complete response, meaning you have no residual tumor. So in lymphoma, we saw 41% complete responders. And leukemia, we saw 61% complete responders. And moreover, what interested me about this particular product is that out of that 61 lymphoma patients, 18 patients have failed off of autocartes, auto meaning they took chemo, they finally got their autocart, paid an exorbitant amount, and yet about 70% of those patients fell off that. After that, they really don't have an option. And for 18 of those patients, we gave 83% overall response rate over six months of durability of survival, as well as 61% uh, complete response, no tumor residual. This is in a phase one, which is incredible. So what we're doing now is looking at autologous CAR T failure population in this particular lymphoma population. And as I said, when you're diagnosed with a certain kind of blood cancers, you get a rancid pack of chemo along with steroids. When you fell off those, the second line is either stem cell research or uh, at this autologous CAR-T. And what we're finding now is that about 70% of the population progress off those, and they have no options. And this is a great opportunity for our Azer cell. 2025, the sale of autologous CAR T's will increase, thus creating a, a, a huge market opportunity for us. Um, I could tell you these autologous CAR T's have sold to very big pharmas for 11 billion um, plus, and so they're still looking for these products, especially after they fell off of their own product, there's nothing to go on. And if we can offer that opportunity, you could see the market size is huge. So we are currently in uh, what's called a phase 1B study, and it's a confirmation study whereby we are proving the proof of concept of the autologous CAR-T failures into our allo CAR-T, our Azer cell. We already have an informal and formal conversations with the FDA, so we're due to have another conversation by the end of this year to talk about our registrational market uh, to market strategy. And uh, I just, uh, just announced that um, our manufacturing facility in Durham, North Carolina, have sold to a very well-established, experienced manufacturing. All they do is CAR-T, and so we have this Azer cell in the right, right, um, right organization. And they're giving us $6 million, and as well as about $32 million in savings. So I'm going to move on to uh, oncolytic virus. Unfortunately, COVID has taught us that viruses are bad. However, this virus is for good. So our virus, we know for a fact that it only replicates in tumor cells. It loves, it loves to replicate in tumor cells. And what it does is it explodes or implodes that tumor cell and then imparts that love onto other tumors as well as invoke your immune system to come to the fight. And we have seen this in our phase one study where we have 47 patients enrolled thus far. This is a dose escalation study. In cancer, you go through phase one where you're trying to establish safety. And then phase two is when you start seeing response rates. At phase one, we're already seeing incredible response rates. And I'm delighted to, to say that the FDA has already awarded us fast track. And so we have roughly about 47 patients uh, that have been enrolled. And this is a dose escalation study where we're trying to find that sweet spot of a dose where toxicity and efficacy uh, are, are different from one another. So you want to get as high as you can. And we're still at relatively low doses. We've already seen one complete response in multiple tumor types, but one complete responder in bile tract cancer, where this patient blew through three lines of therapy. Their tumor is what's considered cold. So your immune system doesn't see it no matter what you do. And this patient came in, last straw, 
and now is living a year and a half without any tumor growth. We have a couple of patients that have partial response. That means in a criteria that's designated by the FDA, if you have more than 30% decrease in tumors over a period of time. And again, these patients are pre-treated, so they have at least anywhere between three to 11 lines of therapy before they come onto our studies. They're a pretty sick population. So we're giving not only uh, hope, but re reality of hopefully um, a response. That patient who received a complete uh, remission um, came in, and those crosshairs might be a little bit tight. So at baseline scan, you see the, you see the tumor. In the second scan, you see the tumor actually grow, and that just means that your lymphocytes and your immune system is actually actively eating away at that tumor. Much like when you cut your hand and your hands swell because your white blood cells and leukocytes are working, that's exactly what's happening. It's turning that tumor hot. So in the third scan, you see a decrease, and in the fourth scan, all gone, no tumor, and he's not had any tumor growth for a year and a half. We think that this patient uh, hopefully will lead to a cure. He's only had um, four months of doses, and yet he's still living. His immune system has been turned on. We love our oncolytic virus, and we have a product that is called Oncarlytic. So remember I, talk, I talked to you about the AutoCAR-T and AlloCAR-T earlier? These guys only work in blood cancers, and this is a means of taking that 10% population into that 90% of the population who has solid tumors. So we have this program. So we know that our oncolytic virus only replicates in tumor cells, and solid tumor tends to be what's called mosaic. It doesn't have a particular target, so it's hard to assess what's the mutation. However, we figured out very uh, quickly that you can shuttle up what's called a CD19, that protein I talked about earlier, that's only in blood cancers. Now, you can cover a solid tumor with CD19, add a CAR-T that's directed for CD19, and then in that process, you create a very smart bomb that goes after your target, then obliterates it, and then gets your immune system to the fight. This is uh, one of those uh, products that's world class. There's nothing like it in the world. When I speak with US investors, this is what excites them. Um, this is going to revolutionize how we can treat solid tumors. There are a lot of CD19 uh, therapeutics that's approved out there, but all towards blood cancers. So therefore, I think that 90% untapping into that 90% of solid tumors is gonna be quite attractive. We've already had a preclinical study with our own product, Azer Cell and Oncarlytics, and within 72 hours, we saw a complete killing in triple negative breast as well as gastric. I've probably have ran 200 or so phase one studies, and I've never seen results like this. So our B-cell immunotherapy, I'm on probably near time. Um, so I'm just gonna briefly cover, we were approached by uh, two well-known colorectal cancer doctors in the UK as well as Australia, and so they're taking this study where we are taking our PD-1 uh, inhibitor into an earlier line of therapy. Now, so currently an, an anti-PD-1 is working incredibly well at uh, Memorial Sloan Kettering. They put 12 patients with this particular kind of colorectal cancer into uh, a PD-1 inhibitor, and 12 were cured. So we think that this is a wonderful opportunity for our PD-1 vax. Key catalyst in the next half of this year, and in a few months' time, you can anticipate preliminary results across all our therapy. And I'm excited to uh, state that all our platform has reaped at least, at least one complete response in a phase one. So um, I, I can't wait to see the data. So um, we've got an amazing people that have experienced that have taken drugs to market um, before with me and without me at other companies. We have ongoing clinical trials that's reaping benefit, and we have a pretty decent uh, cash runway. So I dare say I think Imaging is one of those companies uh, listed on the ASX that's doing quite well. Thank you. Thank you.